The enemy is planning an attack on Vuglida, and is pulling tanks and infantry fighting vehicles to this location. The city has a certain importance for the enemy. It will be the starting point for expanding influence in the area, and it is all about logistics. But as long as Vuglida is controlled by Ukrainian defense forces and the railroad is under air few fire control, there is no way Russian forces can establish a rail connection from east to south. After damage to one of the railway branches of the Crimean Bridge, its railway segment started operating in reverse mode. As a result, the flow of cargo decreased, leading to a reduced capacity to support the southern enemy group. Partially this issue is solved by road communication from Russia through Mariupol to Budyansk and Militopol. They are attempting to address this issue in part by using the maritime route through the Sea of Asov to reach Budyansk. But this is not the volume that the railroad would allow. Therefore, this is a very important moment for them. Capture of Vug leader for the enemy has tactical significance, but there is a small nuance. All previous attempts to capture the city failed miserably, the enemy always lacked the resource. Vuglida is a location, around which fields are dotted with a huge number of Russian occupiers, and now they either need to accumulate large resources, or bodies in the fields will become many times more. If the enemy has problems with logistics in the southern direction, what are the prospects for expansion of the AFU bridgehead on the left bank of Dnipro? Now the Russian command on the left bank is busy strengthening the Dnieper group of troops. Now it already starts to exceed 68,000 personnel and continues to increase. As a result, they intend to extend the area of control to cover more territory on the left bank. Consequently, attempts to block the expansion of the Ukrainian bridgehead will continue, but as of today having quantitative superiority, they cannot completely prevent the expansion of the bridgehead despite the fact, that the Ukrainian defense forces on the left bank are not doing well logistically either. And this only emphasizes the point that the Ukrainian side is using a certain kind of tactics, that the Russians cannot counteract. Due to the dominance on the heights on the right bank, the AFU is more successful in counter-battery warfare on the left bank, and it is more difficult for the Russian side to counter it. And among other things, the Russians' limited ability to use electronic warfare systems has given the AFU the opportunity to conduct, essentially, conditional fire control of Route 2206 with the help of drones. And this significantly complicates the enemy's mobile and safe movement along this highway. It is the last one of those that allow mobile movement and control of the left bank from Olishki to Novokahovka. If they lose physical control over this highway, then I can say that at least the first boundary of the left bank of the Kherson region will be lost to the Russians. That is, without Highway 22206 they will not be able to fully control the events that are taking place there. And they will need to retreat to more advantageous positions.